Last week, Stanford released a brand new AI model called Alpaca. It's nearly as good as ChatGPT, but it's based on Meta's Llama 7B model. There was a public demo, but it was taken down. But don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Llama and Alpaca on your own computer in less than five minutes, no high-end hardware required. Hey everyone, I'm Matt Berman, let's get into it. First, let's take a look at what it looks like. Here we see I have Llama and Alpaca installed on my local computer, running easily on my MacBook Air. Before we get into the install, I wanna give a bit of info about Alpaca. Alpaca is incredibly cheap to train because it is so lightweight. The shocking differentiator is that Alpaca only costs $600 to train, and Alpaca behaves qualitatively similar to OpenAI's DaVinci model. Alpaca takes Meta's publicly available model and uses it in conjunction with GPT-3 to essentially train itself on thousands of common instructions. From my own testing, it does seem to perform very well. However, not quite as well as GPT-4, which just came out last week. But given its size and efficiency, OpenAI should definitely be looking over its shoulder. So here's the announcement from Stanford about Alpaca, and it talks about why it was built, how it was built, and how fast it is. And I think it's super interesting to read through this. I'll link it in the description below. But here it shows it takes 175 self-instruct seed tasks from DaVinci, which is OpenAI's model, loads it into Meta's Llama 7B model, gets 52,000 instruction following examples, and then uses that to train itself. Now, it also had a public demo, which is available here, but when you click on it, the website is down. So they did take it down. But luckily, we don't need the web model. We can install it on our own computer. So let's get into the install. So if you go to this GitHub users page, their name is Cocktail Peanut. They have a repo called Dolly, Dolly Llama. And you can install this in just a few steps. So you do need Node running, that's really important. And I actually had an older version of Node running, but you do need Node 18 or above. So make sure you install that. And to install the latest version of Node, you go to nodejs.org to the download section. I'll link this below. And right here, you can either install it in Windows or Mac OS or grab the source code. So I'm a Mac user, so I would just install it here. And this is 18, and this is what you need. So the first thing you're gonna do after you have Node 18 or above installed is install Dolly. And the way you do that is with this command, npm install Dolly. So I already have it, but you're gonna see it install. So once you have that installed, the next thing you're gonna do is use Dolly to install the two models, Alpaca and Llama. So here's the command npx dolly llama install 7b and 13b that'll install two different llama models one called 7b and one called 13b you don't need both of them you can only do one but if you want to play around with multiple models and see which one you like best go ahead and install both of them so i already have these installed so i'm not going to install them again but if you did you go ahead and hit enter and you're going to see it installed just like so. Now I'm going to cancel these because again, I have them installed. Once that's done, you can also install the Alpaca model. Both of these just take a few minutes to download. And so here's the command, llama npx dolly alpaca install 7b. And you go ahead and hit enter. It looks very similar to the last one. I already have it installed, so there it is. Now, once you have both of those models installed, the next thing we're going to do is just run the server. npx dolly serve and that'll spin up a local host server with those models let's take a look so we'll grab the url okay and here it is you can see i have three models installed alpaca 7b llama 13b and llama 7b let's give it a try with the prompt example from the github repo how is the llama and alpaca related and there it is it starts spitting out the answer now at the top, it has a bunch of different settings and I'll show you what those different settings are. You're actually gonna see uh, an issue as it's outputting this response. So right here, the first setting is called nPredict and that is the number of tokens that it's going to respond with. And there's the issue. So as it was outputting the response, it stopped because we reached 200 tokens. Now you can go ahead and increase that to whatever you want. We'll try it again. And now we'll get the full response. And there it is, the full response. So let's take a look at all the different settings. So on Cocktail Peanuts repo, it's explained what most of the different settings are. 
So you have the prompt, obviously, the model, which is which model you actually want to use, a URL, if you're gonna to connect to a remote Dolly server, but we're not. Threads is the number of threads that your computer is gonna be using. And predict, which is really the important setting. So if you want a really long response or if you need a really long response, go ahead and set that a lot higher. The seed, temperature. So if you remember from a previous video, the temperature actually controls how unique or adventurous a response will be. Closer to zero, you're gonna get similar responses again and again with the same prompt. Closer to one, you're gonna get a lot of unique and very adventurous responses. And then you can also have skip end, which tells you whether it's the end of the response or not. So one last thing I wanna show off is a tweet from 2022 by Will Summerlin from ARK Invest. Now he said, AI training costs are declining at 60% year over year. It costs $5 million for GPT-3 in 2022. But by 2023, it'll cost $500 to train the model at the same performance. Now, he said that at the end of 2022. And already, we have a model that has similar performance to DaVinci 3 that only costs $600 or less to train. And you can install it on your local computer, any computer, no high-end graphics card, nothing needed. So we are way ahead of Moore's Law. I am super excited to see what's coming. I'm especially excited to install more models on my local machine, play around with them, compare them to ChatGPT, and see which one does better at which tasks. If you wanna see more tools and tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe to my Substack. I'll link it below in the description. If you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.